Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my videos, whether they're keto, beauty, a lifestyle, anything in between. Today, I wanted to share with you my quick and easy iced coffee recipe because if you've been on keto, coffee is a really great way to get your fats in for the day but also if you love coffee <laughs> you're gonna want this recipe especially for the hotter months or just when you want to treat yourself i just love me some good iced coffee so let me show you what i do you can simplify it even more but let me show you the trick to just make it taste even more delicious so quick and simple let's start with our iced coffee cup and i've already added my ice in there your preference if you like a little bit less a little bit more for today's pre-iced coffee mixture we're going to be using a starbucks a medium roast unsweetened make sure especially if you're doing this on keto it is unsweetened there's so many brands with different unsweetened options i rotate off of honestly what's on sale this just so happened to be on sale at my local jewel and or what's available sometimes i don't have the starbucks the other brand that i really like that you can get at your grocery store or even cheaper at aldi is the stoke stock brand I'm not sure how to say it but then target has some other really great options as well comment down below your favorite coffee options for my coffee i'm gonna go ahead and put about one cup what is that eight or so fluid ounces feel free to do less or do more if this is just a quick little pick me up i know costco also has that chameleon brew brand if you want a cold brew as well i can just never find it next is going to be your creamer-esque option keto of course so i'm gonna use my unsweetened once again unsweetened almond milk and we like to use almond milk you can do heavy whipping cream you can do half and half but i feel like this just has the least amount of calories and or carbs as well because heavy whipping cream it does have carbs so for the almond milk i'm going to go ahead and put in about half a cup of that if you want a little bit less a little bit more up to you to sweeten up your coffee you can use your choice of sweetener i'm going to go ahead and use swerve you can also use things like stevia whatever your preference is but i i go in and use about one tablespoon of the sweetener once again you can do more you can do a less next you're going to want to go ahead and take advantage of another coffee or your first coffee throughout your day but getting your fats in your coffee once again is the easiest way to get them for the day if you are doing keto so i'm going in with my mct oil i bought this double pack from costco and this has lasted me so much saved me so much money so i go ahead and do a tablespoon of that now is the extra deliciousness choose a sugar-free syrup of your choice i go between vanilla and french vanilla i happen to accidentally buy french vanilla when i was trying to get vanilla tastes great tastes the same but this is just gonna add a little extra yumminess to your iced coffee this isn't that why we like iced coffee a lot of us do that's why i like it it's an extra little treat you can omit this step but if you just want a little bit more flavor to it while still remaining sugar-free go ahead and add a tablespoon of french vanilla vanilla or your syrup of choice next don't forget to go ahead and stir your iced coffee just so you make sure all of the sweeteners and the syrups kind of get blended in as well as you don't want just like a film of mct oil at the top of your coffee but then it's all done super simple and easy and you can enjoy the rest of your day and that's pretty much it mm. iced coffee time is the best time you can get crazier with it you can get more creative I know that the brand Chalk Zero has a bunch of different syrups. Like you can do a caramel, you can do a chocolate, you can do different options and make yourself an iced caramel macchiato, but make it keto with some fats because the Starbucks add any fats on there. No, they do not. Save some money and enjoy your iced coffee at home. So this is my treat. This is like honestly the time of day that I look forward to. Iced coffee time. I feel like usually around like 2, 3 p.m. Just like that midday pick me up. I don't feel like energy wise I necessarily need it sometimes I do though and it works for me energy but then also it's like hey let's get a couple of extra fats in kind of multitask and we can go ahead and do that I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy iced coffee recipe keto iced coffee recipe 
low carb iced coffee recipe comment down below if you have any other fun additions you like to put into your iced coffee thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with the rest of my videos and i'll see you all next time